My name is G. I use they them pronouns and I love sci-fi books and movies. So on this channel I'm going to be basically doing things that characters do in sci-fi books and I might extend that to movies but for right now we're sticking with books and it's gonna be pretty fun I think. Um, I'm planning on doing like Katniss style shooting an apple from whatever distance she did and um, doing divergent facing fears sort of thing. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I think, so yeah. And today we're going to be doing um, something from one of my books that hasn't been published yet, mind you. Um, I hope to get it edited and published someday, but for right now it's um, about an engineer and so we're gonna do something that she does kind of near the beginning of the book, which is she's going to make a circuit board out of spare parts uh, from the shoebox of spare parts she keeps under her dresser. You might be wondering why there's a dresser behind me. <laughs> this would be where that comes in. That actually, that part of the book was based off of my, well, that part of the backstory was based off of my backstory, which is I, part of which I have spare parts in a shoebox, well not a shoebox, but a box, under my dresser, and I use those to tinker around with stuff, and so yeah, I figure to kind of introduce myself and to introduce my story a bit, um, we can start with that. So yeah. So this is from a scene um, in Architecton, that's the working title for my hopefully eventually published novel, and the part where the circuit board comes in is this. If I'm ever going to say it, now's the time. A warning memory flashes through my mind of a circuit board class project where the monitors expected the girls and uninterested boys not to participate. Though I kept my ankles crossed and my hands in my lap, my fake nails dug into my palms until they crafted little purple dents as the guys botched their experiments. Later, I pulled the shoebox out from under my dresser and used the spare materials collected inside to craft a working makeshift version of the school project. It was beautiful. Shame shudders through me at remembering when Dad checked up on me then. I lashed out at him for the first time and even threw the circuit board into the wall. The treasured piece of art I nurtured to life had shattered into an unfixable mess. Only in that moment of loss, when my parents picked up the circuit pieces and told me about my brother, did I understand. So we're not going to be throwing our circuit into the wall, but we are going to be uh, taking out the quote-unquote shoe boxes, or boxes I guess, from under my dresser, and we're going to make a circuit board out of, a makeshift circuit board, out of the pieces there. Yay! Not really shoe boxes, but boxes, and they all have stuff on inside them. This one, right, this was mostly my mechanics one. They all have different themes to them. Uh, this was magnetism, fluids, and yeah. Looks like this one's probably going to be the one that we are going to most use. Because we've got our battery right here, and... Unfortunately, we don't really have a board, but we do have some copper wire. Sorry, not wire tape. We have some copper tape, so maybe we can use that to build a quote-unquote makeshift circuit board. Let's check out our other materials, though, just in case. Ah, this is mostly our... Is this our remnants box? We also have, like, an extra box, I think, and this was that one, I think. This is from a specific experiment. Plus, of course, we need a pipe pipe cleaners. That's always a very important, sophisticated level of stuff. Ah, here are some LEDs. Those might be of use actually to us. You can light up an LED with a circuit. You can make something go beep with a circuit. You can do all sorts of things with a circuit, but for our simple purposes, we're probably gonna go with a light because we have those here. So let's go ahead and take out, we've got and that stuff. Let's get started. 
technically a circuit can be it doesn't require a board all the time but as our as our project here is going to be a board and we don't have a actual circuit board that's traditional we're going to do something that's more makeshift and hopefully works um so yeah i don't think this is something like Coralie would have made she would have probably had a circuit board like an actual board that you could plug stuff into um but because i don't have that we're, we're just going to use what we have and that's essentially what she did anyway we should be able to tape over on this or on these you know what if we're making a board let me get a piece of paper some construction paper maybe if we connect one side here black to black they should be touching to where the current will then flow through here okay and now what color leds should we go with we've got green yellow red and white uh, the white looks a little bit battered let's go green we're just gonna call the paper a board because we don't have a board so we have our, I don't know if you're supposed to hold it like this or not. Apparently not, it just slipped out. Now we're just gonna set it over here because this looks like a nice little battery spot. You know, it's a tab in there. And we'll just set, well, it doesn't want to stay in the battery spot, oh no. Okay, now the copper tape goes over there, connected to the light now connected to one side and it appears it don't work <laughs> it's probably to no surprise to some of y'all if not all of y'all that it doesn't work this next part we're going to do with the internet circuits with battery and copper tape i don't see any in this box let's see about this one what is this? No, that's a that's a button. That's not a. It looked like it looked like a battery for two seconds, but that's just a button. And I believe I. Hi. Okay. The character did not have a cat stepping on. No, my. Our first thing we can fix is how the tape is connected here. We keep these sides separate so that the plus and the minus side can be separate and go through the light. So we want the longer leg is the plus side and the plus side is the red side, if I remember my physics class correctly. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our other side. Our other copper here. <gasps> Look at that! Look at how brilliant that is! Oh my god! We did it! Look at that! We made a circuit board thing, sort of. So there we are. We have ourselves a circuit board that we made from the spare parts from my quote-unquote shoe boxes under the dresser. And that's that! Thank you so much for watching, and I know this is really a starter, kind of a starter video to help me kind of... What's the equivalent of get my sea legs for camera work? Um, basically that, whatever that is. And yeah, um, there's gonna be some pretty exciting stuff coming up, I think. And stay tuned for more of that, that'll be cool. And I don't really have an outro yet, I just realized, so... Yeah.